people, it's Yana and I'm back today with yet another video. And today we are yet again diving straight into the world of the dark web, but in a very, very interesting way. And that's because today we're going to be taking a look at a video titled, We Found a Girlfriend on the Dark Web. It's one thing to meet your girlfriend or boyfriend online, but to meet them on the dark web? I don't know, that seems like pretty risky business to me. So if you guys are excited to find out what happens in this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So for this episode, Chester found a website on the dark web that you can find people who want to date. It's pretty much Tinder for the dark web. I don't know how these people on this site are any different from people on regular dating sites. Chester made a profile, so we're going to mess around on it a little bit, see if he gets any matches, and hopefully we'll be able to find him a date. All right, let's go. I guess he found a site similar to Tinder on the dark web, and he's saying he wonders how the people on the dark web are any different from the people on regular regular dating sites, which I am sure he is about to find out exactly why they're so different. I mean, let's be real. This just sounds like an insanely terrible idea to try to meet your significant other on the dark web. I mean, I feel like that's just bound to be a disaster. Okay, let's uh, have a look at the site. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so this seems to be the dating site. It looks like Chester already made a profile in advance. I don't know how long you've had this profile on here. Dude, what are these pictures that you used of yourself? This doesn't even really look like you in real life. you have like a filter on it or something? Dude, I was just trying to look strong. Let's just go to the matches. So how does this site work? Do you match based on like common interests and stuff? Like the computer picks people for you? Bro, people are either right swiping you or left swiping you. You don't have time to find out about your personality. It sounds pretty egocentric. I'm not so sure what people on this website are looking for. Well, I mean, this is clearly a dating site, so I mean, it's pretty obvious you're on this site to get a girlfriend. No, dude, I just want—I just want to check out what kind of people are on here. I don't know, dude. Your profile looks pretty serious. He does have a fully set up profile on this website, as if he's been using it for quite some time. I do also find it so interesting how all these websites on the dark web are quite literally dark. The background of the website is always like a black or a dark gray, and all always gives off a seriously creepy vibe. I am really curious to see if he's able to successfully find a girlfriend on this website. All right, well, it looks like you got a match. Let me see. Let's look at some of her pictures. Oh, wow. This is a girl that matched with you. Yeah. I just don't believe that it's actually this girl. Why? Because why would she be on the dark web? Just scroll down. What does her bio say? I'm just a wax doll that wants to be melted until my body is violently jerking on the floor. Dude. That doesn't make any sense. Usually you think in your bio you would put things like your hobbies and your interests and like your favorite movie or something. Not something as concerning as this. It just sounds like she's the creative type. Can we just go back to her pictures? Oh, look, she sent you a message. <laughs> she asked for your number, bro. Bro, I'm not even saying I want to date this girl, but wouldn't you want to just make friends with her? Do I want to make friends with her? No, dude, it's a stranger on the dark web. So you're gonna give her your number or not? Yeah, I'll give her my number. Dude, I just think there's something really wrong about making friends or finding a girlfriend on a website like this. All right, bro, I'm just gonna text her for a little bit. Okay, see yourself. So right off the bat, he made a huge mistake by giving this girl his phone number. Now they're gonna chit chat and see if they hit it off and get along. All right, so I don't know how this happened, but uh, Chester has some news for you guys. She's coming over tomorrow. He convinced her to come over tomorrow night. I think this is a horrible idea. I think you should not invite this stranger into our house. Well, the, I just want to see what her personality is like. You don't find this sketchy at all, that you have a date from the dark web. You saw what she looks like. She doesn't look sketchy. What are you talking about, dude? You can read the bio. Normal people don't type like that. And you want this person in our house. What time is she coming over? She says 3 a.m. Bro, what kind of person wants to meet up for a date at 3 a.m.? When, when you make a good friends with this girl, you're going to regret it. All right? Okay, I'm just going to say this. This is your date. I'm not getting involved with this situation. I think this is a bad idea. And if anything, I think we shouldn't invite her over. All right, sure, bro. So you're, are you going to take responsibility for this if things go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Does not sound serious. <laughs> okay, let's cut the can. Somehow, after just two hours of talking to this girl, they decided that she is going to come over at three in the morning the following day. What kind of date starts at three in the morning? This girl is definitely giving me sketchy vibes right off the bat. I also truly cannot believe that they are letting her come over into the house. I am really hoping this doesn't go horrendously wrong for them. All right, so it's about 1230 in the morning right now. We're currently waiting for Chester's girlfriend to arrive. Dude, it's not my girlfriend. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, dude. We're just gonna be friends. Our makes you feel better. 
So it looks like she should be here in about an hour or so, so we're just gonna keep chilling out, keep waiting, and then uh, we'll finally see this romantic meeting between Chester and her pretty soon. Dude. <laughs> Why are you so embarrassed? We're just gonna be friends, all right? All right, bro. That's not what you said about those pictures online. <laughs> so it's looking like Chester has a little bit of a crush on this girl And I have a feeling that's all going to change pretty soon Because I really highly doubt that the girl they saw in the picture online Is the same girl that is gonna show up to their front door I mean, let's be real, he is almost 100% getting catfished I guess there's only one way to find out You hear that? Yeah Let's see who he is. There's a love of your life, bro. You want me to hold the camera? Dude, Get we're just gonna be friends You want me to hold the camera, bro? I feel like you should open the door here, dude you said me burns? Let's see what it is. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Parker, nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, <laughs> whoa. That's right. So you're Chester? Yeah, nice to meet you. Burns? <laughs> <laughs> there is something seriously wrong with this girl. What is with the weird sounding laughter it is really throwing me off not to mention that does not look like the girl from the website okay so can we sit down and talk over there for a little bit i just want to ask you a couple questions about mm -hmm. the site that you were on mm -hmm. yeah just over there Just over here, come on. She also seems a little bit disoriented because how can she not figure out where to walk in the house? Like, babe, it seems pretty simple. You can sit over there. Oh, okay, Okay. so Burns, can you tell me why you wanted to start dating on the dark web? Hey, that's okay. What led you to, you know, get on the dark web and start using that dating site? Can you ask her? Uh, what made you want to start dating on the dark web? I saw you. Okay. Do you want to kiss me? I'm sorry, uh, no. Not you, right now. Do you want to kiss her, bro? Do you love me? Um, I think you're, uh, you could be a really good friend, and I think you're a really good person, but I just don't love you. I just met you. This girl is moving insanely fast. She is like, I love you. I want to kiss you. I'm already obsessed with you. Poor Chester is genuinely confused. He is like, we literally just met. I can't say that I love you yet. Also, can we just talk about the fact that she said that what made her want to start dating on the dark web was seeing him, which tells me she's had her eye on him for a little while, which is kind of creepy. Is everything all right? Ah! Oh. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What's going on with you? Why are you doing that? Why is she doing that? That's not how you should treat people. So clearly she is not happy that he doesn't love her back. She literally let out the craziest scream ever. Talk about an eventful first date. I'm thirsty. Uh, uh you some water? Yeah, let's get her a drink. You want some water? Yes. Take this as a lesson. This is exactly why you don't meet people off the dark web They could end up in your house like this and then you have no idea what to do with them They have to be a bit careful around her. She clearly has some anger issues. You don't want to piss her off She will start screaming Okay, here's your water Oh my god <laughs> why, why did you do that? Why did you break that glass? <laughs> Burns, is everything all right? Do you want me to be your little dog? Why? Do you want me to lick from the dog bowl? Why are you doing that? No, don't do that. No. What are you doing? No, stop. It's dirty. No. What's going on? Okay, this took a turn insanely fast. So he handed her over this mug of water because she was thirsty. And instead of drinking from it like a normal person would, she drops it to the ground and then goes over to the dog bowl and drinks out of the dog bowl. Like clearly something is very severely wrong with her. What the hell is going on? I'm literally mind blown. Why are you on all fours eating out of a dog bowl on your first date? Dude, this is ridiculous. Ask her to stop. I can't do anything about this. Just ask her to stop. Burns, can you please stop? Uh, what? That worked. You said it wasn't gonna work. It worked. Um, maybe we should just go to bed. Mm. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. 
guess you guys are gonna go to sleep. Why is she sleeping over at their house? After everything they've seen her do, I think it will be very fair for them to tell her to get the hell out of there. It's literally a stranger from the dark web. You have no idea what she's capable of. Okay, this is your room for the night. It's late, so you could uh, stay in the guest room tonight. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. Is this okay? Okay, we'll see you in the morning. You can shut the okay. door. Thanks. At least she's staying in the guest bedroom and isn't like actually sleeping in a room with him. I guess that's a little bit better, right? All right, so it's super late right now, but I gotta wake Chester up because this girl's been making a lot of noise. Yo, dude, wake up. Put your sunglasses on, I'm filming. Your girlfriend's been making noise all night. It's not my girlfriend, what, what do you wanna do? She's making noise all night, bro. We gotta go talk about this. All right, let's go. She's been making noises all night. I'm very curious what kind of noises. Is it like the crazy laughing she was doing or the screaming or is it like a different new noise that she's making? Clearly this girl has a lot of tricks up her sleeve. She is giving them quite the dark web experience. How do we get rid of her? She matched with you, dude. I think it's gotta be your responsibility to get her out. So you want me to go up there and tell her to leave? I think you should go up there and politely ask her to leave. I think that would be the best thing to do. All right, fine. It's not her right to live in this house. Fine, let's do it. You can do it, I'll watch. It is only fair for him to be the one to tell her to leave. To be honest with you, that's what they should have done from the very beginning. The moment they opened that door and saw that she wasn't the girl from the picture, they should have just told her to turn around and walk in the opposite direction. However, they are in a bit too deep now, so I don't know how well this is gonna go. It really might take a turn for the worse. Let's go. Yo. She's not in there? Dude, she's not in here. She's in your room, bro. There's no way she's in my room. She's in your room, dude. Why are you in my room? Wait, is it my phone? Who is this? What? Why does it matter to you? That's my cousin. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No. Hey, give me that. Oh my God. Why did you do no. that? No, no, no. What is wrong with you? No. She is absolutely furious because somehow she managed to get into his room and onto his phone. She saw his cousin on his phone and just got so angry. She threw his phone at the wall and broke it. Like, babe, calm down. You literally just met this man. It really should not be that serious. And if it is, that is definitely a you problem. All right, I definitely do think now is the time for them to tell her to leave. And absolutely now. Never come back. Definitely no second date with this girl. Just get out, okay? Oh, stop! Hey, I ain't enough. Hey, Burns, get out! Get out! You don't go. Oh, go! Stop! Go! Bro, I'm not listening to you again. I just, I'm just glad she's gone. have a full-on mental breakdown, started screaming, and just ran straight out of the house. I do feel like out of all the ways this could have ended, this is definitely the best possible outcome. They successfully managed to get her out of there. I mean, that is all you can ask for. Okay, so we're sitting down again because I need to show Chester some footage that I found on his camera. Take a look at this. See that? Who's doing that? Was that she you? She was. No, she was recording you. You swear you weren't doing that? Dude, she was recording you sleeping. I don't know how that's hard to believe. Dude, I cannot believe that she was in my room. Dude, do you think she did anything to me while I was asleep? I mean, you can look right now, bro. It's all recorded. Oh, my God. So not a good date, right? All right, stop. We'll stop the camera. Ah! Absolutely not a good date at all. Turns out she somehow snuck into his room while he was sleeping and recorded him. What an absolute weirdo. But it does seem like they successfully managed to get rid of her and everything did end on pretty good terms. Once again, things could have ended a whole lot worse with the dark web. You never really know what you're gonna get, but that is exactly why you shouldn't meet strangers from the dark web. But all right, you guys, we have finally made it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video, but I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye